On the hill today for the Giants, the opener, right hander Ryan Walker. Walker, a rookie, 27 years old, 6'2, 200 pounder, out of the great baseball program of Washington State University. And that's how this game gets started with a swift hang on a miss. One two pitch, swing and a miss. He struck it out with a high fastball. And now the inning goes on for the big power hitter. And this one is scorched down the right field line. It goes pounding off the brick. And look at that carol. Riley is coming home. He slides in safe. And Atlanta grabs the lead at the top of the first. Matt Olson strikes again. His MLB best 111th RBI on the season. Well, you punch out the first two. Things are going pretty good. Nasty slider down and into a hot Matt Olson, and you're out of the game. Max Freed, fifth start since his return from the three month absence on the injured list. He has had success against the San Francisco Giants in his career. He went. Max struck him out. First two retired here for the San Francisco Giants. Waiting on the two one. Here it is. And the ground ball hit hard, but that'll be gloved at third base by Riley. He's up with it. Goes over to first base and down go the Giants. One, two, three in the bottom of the first inning. Davis one for four last night. He's six for 26 in his career against Max Freed. Lifted to shallow left. And it's going to fall. And here's the throw. It's going to be close. Not in time. I couldn't tell what. Rosario was doing out there. Well, he was playing towards the gap in left center. I mean, he was a long way away from this thing. I don't know what part of the bat that hit on Davis's bat. It sounded like a dish rag leaving the bat, kind of a splat. But off the crack of the bat, I mean, J.D. Davis is thinking two bagger all the way, and it was close. Didn't seem to be worried about whether he lost him or not. So now Schmidt will come up, and Schmidt will try and ruin that strategy if, in fact, that's what Freed was doing. Runners go, 3 2, and a pop up. Matt Olson on the right side backpedaling into shallow right. He calls off everyone and Matt's got him. Now the Giants strand runners at first and second base and Max Freed able to work around the double and the wall. No runs, one hit, no errors, two left. Ronald over one with a strikeout. This is the first time that he's seen Manaya. Payoff pitch. Ronald shoots it down the right field line. It's fair. He's headed for second and then he pumps on the brakes. At the very last moment, good job by Matos down in right field to get that ball back in. So Acuna to second and Riley to first. Ronald breaks for third. He got a great jump and he stole it. And he is now on the doorstep of 60 stolen bases. That's his 59th of the season. Two old teammates going at each other. Yeah, Manaya and Olsen playing together with the A's come up together. That'll be floated out to left field, and that will dunk in for a base hit and make it 2-0 Braves. Matt Olson just did get some wood on it and flared it over the left side of the infield over Schmidt and DeYoung. And he rakes in his second RBI of the day. For the softest of singles, makes it 2-0 Braves. Just a great baseball team. Wilmer Flores hit a sharp ground ball to third and was thrown up. Wilmer to high drive. Center field. It is out of here just like that this game is tied he did it a week ago to Freed. he does it again here number 19 on the year and it almost looked like he was up there looking for it little breaking ball that laid out at the knees out over the plate and he takes on center field and he clears that fence by a bunch that ball was killed lifted the left Rosario, can he get there? He cannot. Schmidt is going to have to be held up. And Matos hits one down the line for a double. Set up Austin Slater here. A great two out opportunity. The rookie. And the payoff pitch on the way. Curveball got him. He's thrown 70 pitches today, and now what might be his best pitch of the afternoon. A beautiful curveball to strike out Slater. And Austin Riley, the batter, he has walked twice. Oof. This ball is crushed. Goodbye. A line drive shot out of Oracle Park off the bat of Austin Riley, and Atlanta is back in front. His 30th of the season. Austin finally got a pitch to hit after two walks. Middle, middle, and you could hear that from up here. Two run homer over the center field wall, hit by Wilmer Flores. Wilmer's 19th home run of the year, which equals his career record for a season. Could not stop his bat. Curveball from Max Freed. 
It's Flores, two away. Beautiful, beautiful curveball, much like the one in the first inning to get Estrada. Got him upstairs. Fastball, a good one up high. Seventh strikeout for Max, and that's the kind of inning he needed. He got the lead back, and he has a one, two, three, fifth inning. That'll bring up Orlando Arcia, who's 0 for 2 today, a strikeout and a ground out. Swung on, hit high and deep to center. I don't know if the park will hold this one. Slater on the run. That's gone into the Giants' bullpen. Orlando Arcia snaps out of that funk he's been in with his 15th homer of the year, 4-2 to two Atlanta. 1-2. That'll be stroked in the right field, down for a base hit. All the way to the base of the wall. Michael Harris digging for second base. He goes in standing with a double. Well, a one-out double to get it going. Just as you pointed out, Ben, we were talking about how the right fielder gives you a lot of room toward the line, and that ball scooted to the fence and came right back. And now they got Harris picked off, and he's out. Well, he was going. Turns his head. And Harris was off and running. Now, all of a sudden, perfect throw, and then he's got nowhere to go. And he swings and misses. A sinker from Taylor Rogers ends the top of the seventh. Great start to the top of the eighth for Atlanta. Two on, nobody out. And that brings up Eddie Rosario. And Eddie shoots this to left. That falls. Around third. Matt Olson comes home, and Atlanta has a 5 2 lead. That loads him up for Orlando. 1 1. He swings the wood and strikes one out towards left field. Jack Peterson back making the catch. Tagging from third base, Ozuna. Tagging from second base, Rosario. They both arrive safely, and it's 6 2 Braves. This to shallow right. Ramos running in. And that's too shallow. No, he's going to tag. <laughs> oh, it worked. He slow played him. Eddie Rosario acted like he wasn't going to go. Then he did, and it worked to perfection. Meckler pinch hit against Kirby Yates and struck out in the seventh and then stayed in the game. Line drive off the end of the bat and a base hit. And here comes Ramos. So Meckler with a single in an RBI, and it's seven to three. And here comes Jock Peterson. Ground ball to the right side should do it. And the Braves win yet another series. They will go for the sweep tomorrow of the San Francisco Giants.